He took the body off of the woods. There were helpers. There always were. Okay. Like there are helpers at grave sites. There are helpers. But Joseph, okay. he helped manage this. And where they took oh, his wow. nephew next, you should know. Yeah. His nephew did not have a tomb yet. Wasn't old enough. Didn't have abundance. That's something about? you purchase. You purchase it in advance. Like some of you will purchase grave sites in advance. Joseph, an abundant man, had a tomb very, very close to the hill where this took place. And Joseph took his nephew off of the wood. And Joseph took his nephew to his own tomb that he had purchased and had. That was Joseph's tomb. Beautiful, that love of that relative, of that man for his nephew. Where were the apostles? Where were all the followers? You're talking. The only other I'm relative, listening. the only other loved one, was named Mary. And she was there too. I understand. Not questioned at all. You know how Because it those works. in the area knew who she belonged to. That's the story. We're in this dimension. We're but you're in Glastonbury. What does this have to do with that? And here it is. The legends are correct. Joseph came back here. He came back at this spot where his nephew loved, where the crystalline grid was strong, where he felt the lushness of the earth. To build an oratory, a chapel, a prayer place that would become in legend and reality the first church of Christ in honor of his nephew he built this you'll hear the guides say many things today and point out where this was and what was destroyed and what was rebuilt all accurate and true but it all started with Joseph and here's what I want to tell you. This first Christian church is nothing at all like what became. Because Joseph did not set up his chapel and the church of his nephew showing any crucifixion. There was no man on the wood. There were no symbols of sorrow and suffering. There was bright colors. There was prayer and there was celebration. And the celebration was the teachings of Jesus Christ. And his death didn't mean what it does today. Today, when you walk up to so many organizations that would say they are Christ, you walk in and it's dark. And there is the wood and there is the man who suffers almost an eternity for hundreds and hundreds of years that was not present in the first Christian church because Joseph knew the teachings of his nephew is what the world needed to hear the crucifixion was too bad but it wasn't the crux of everything like it is today Joseph had a nephew who taught about the joy and the beauty and the love of God. And that's what Joseph put here. Bright colors, singing, prayer to a God that was the God of love, not the God of law. This is an important part of the story that changed the planet. And as you walk this place, legends, of course, they will occur. There's even a place, supposedly, where King Arthur is buried. It's one of many places where King Arthur is buried. You know. I will call this place Convenient Abundant Bones. (laughs) And the guides may tell you some more. Okay. It's sacred ground. It really is. 
Not only does the crystalline grid remember it so well, but this is where Joseph came to honor his nephew. We're and he did it right. Over here. And so it is. Tones that you right. were singing and hearing, let those keep reverberating in you in your own crystalline structure. Hear them inside as you breathe. Soft, full breaths in and out. Just letting those beautiful tones rock you gently, slowly. Come on in, darling. And feel the wonderful, delicious energy of Gaia. Up here coming up through your feet into your whole being. What happened? And if you notice your own heartbeat, what that feels like, Something's and then missing, go from your heart to the heart of Gaia and feel her okay. underneath you. And as you breathe, and as you experience your Bless own the heartbeat, you will begin to feel Bless the heartbeat it. of Gaia. I hear ya. And on soon in. it begins to synchronize with your own heart. I hear ya. So that you and the Great Mother are beating as one heart. I hear you, darling. One beautiful crystal inside and out. And so that the history that is held here in the crystalline grid right away. is your history. Okay. You as the warrior, as the priestess, as the child. You going to battle, you saying your prayers. Perhaps today you felt that as you wandered through the holy places here. Perhaps you're beginning to integrate your past and your present. Opening up all of the places in your own crystalline DNA remembrance. To the energies that are here in Glastonbury. And breathe that in with me. What's missing, darling? And feel the peace breathe. that is here now. I can't see it. The peace of souls that have I'm come to missing. rest. What's the grace missing? that surrounds the lives that were lived <clears throat> and the lessons that were learned. <clears throat> and the compassion for the journey of the many souls, your souls, that live lives here in this beautiful crystal. So as you continue to hold that resonance, that memory, that heartbeat okay. to the land of the gods and the goddesses here, Know that that goes with you I from hear this you. place. Did and you, you go me? forever changed yeah. as you have breathed the air. Okay. And you had have a drink of the water. I know what we're doing. And the feeling of the grid beneath you. This is the multi dimensional has world. touched your DNA, the composition of I your soul. <laughs> And you take that with you, always. Take a breath. We're here. And say it's yes inside connection. to this great gift. Invisible, but real. Yes. OK. Now, what's next? 
I'm here. So it is good day to you, huh? So very good to see you, your light, no problem. your brightness, your shining energy, all radiant from picking up that aspect of yourself that you may have left here um, a thousand years ago, two thousand, or forty-seven, whatever fits the boat, huh? Yes, this, this place, this mystical place has brought out the hero and heroine within you. You are here acknowledging that divinity. You are here acknowledging your divinity, that wizardry, the master, the teacher, the lover, the creator, the acknowledgement, the division of happen? religion, the division of beliefs. And now, you, know me. you are That's here to bring it all back together. 33. You are here to unite That's right. that energy. Just as the I'm master had said, What's just as number? you have said, Okay. Excuse me. Well, you want to do it? But dearly beloved, I am grateful you for you. You see me. It was my intention I'm to bring now. peace to this planet. It didn't work out quite so well for me, but we woke a lot of people up, just as you are. You believe me? Well... And you are expanding that peace. I'm listening. For you see, you are the creator as well. I'm doing my part. You have been created, <laughs> just as I. You are my sister. We're doing it. You are my brother. We're creating the future here. You are my teacher. You are my heart. Okay. You are my love. Is that enough now? I came here. So it is. <laughs> yes. And you with you, the now? sweetheart that is you. I came here to help you learn that there are no borders any longer. Okay, push the button. That it is time Stop to acknowledge.